It allows you to carry out microscopic measurements and actually any type of measurements if a reference value is available. You can take a picture with your own camera or you can load an image. Right now I'm using this external camera with manual focus and this is a sample of onion cells on it. As you can see there are visible cells, however it's only a $10 camera and still amazing measurements can be made. Ok, uh, first let's calibrate it. It's the same method as previously, but this time I'm going to use this rot wing insert which I put next to the sample as the reference value. You can measure lengths, angles and area. For a better view let's zoom in a little bit and let's see the size of this cell for example. Or let's measure this angle. Now let me show you how you can use this as a telescope. This is a picture of the moon, but as you can see there is no given reference. But we know that the diameter is 3474 kilometers, so I can just calibrate it according to this number. Now I can zoom in and see, for example, the width of a crater or the area of this other one. Again, it's possible to save these data. Here is the corresponding button. This function is basically useful for all kinds of science subjects, as measurements are part of all of them. If you think of biology, it's obvious, but in case of chemistry or geography, there are also several microscopic things which would be worth having a look at.